have any satsang. From the earlier days, he was a married man. He was a married man. So his father used to be Purohits or Samos. So they were all traditional Purohits or the village people. So they will all take Madhurisha only from him. And wherever they go, they may go to USA. Monthly they will be sending money for their family to maintain themselves even after 100 years. Even today, their custom is there in Bengal and uh, in some parts of India. Then, uh, once what happened was, he had two children also. He went away somewhere, he didn't tell them. So they thought, usually what these people do is Purohis. Those traditional Purohis who are there for the village. It's not one village, they cover some four or five villages at their little distance. So these people thought they go once in six months there to and visit all their shishas. So not only money, they bring some sacks of rice, some sacks of urandal, uh, or some sacks of green gram. So all these things they will bring. So they thought he has gone, they were very happy. He went away to serve his swami. She was simply serving the Swamiji for a number of months. At the end, he asked me, Why are you serving me? He said, You do some Mahatma service. And he told him, There's only one thing. There's a way to God. Satatha Sparna of the Lord, nothing else. There is nothing to talk. You get out. Another time he went, where I used to stay at Gasipur, exactly opposite the other side, there is a forest. In those days, there lived a saint, who was as Mukulpur Baba. He was a stocky man. He was not supposed to be very literate, but he was a Jew. What they say, in those days. So all the Mahatmas were working from time to time. So once, this Akanda Raji was going along with some four or five other Swamiji's by boat. It was early morning, it's so o'clock also. He was thinking within himself, it's a long time. It would be good if I can get some Malkwa. Malkwa is something like Adrisam, we call it. See, it is men like Dushan, it is all made of some down and it's fried in uh, ghee like that. That's all. This portion is salt, that portion is salt. The end is like mithi and all that. That's like that. They call it, we call it adhisam. And uh, they call it an QP and all that is Mahatma. And he was thinking, hey, I can get Mahatma today. The Swamiji wanted to give. How nice it they went, they were talking for some three, four minutes with Mukarpur Baba. Baba went inside and brought Malkua for all of them. He gave it. He was very satisfied, he ate it. And that evening there was a satsang. And before he went, he called him aside. Yea, when you go for his satsang, Forget your stomach. Don't be thinking I should get a, a malpua. Understood? <laughs> yes, I understood. Then after a long time, he came back to the house. Then his wife went and she was seeing all the papers. There was no rice, there was no dawn. He didn't go anywhere and get anything. No, 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 I didn't go from there. Hell with you. He never talked to you at all. Nobody in the world, in the house, talked to him. That's what happened. That's all. And then finally, he left it all in time that he became the Swamiji. As the Swamiji, again once, he went with 60 people to Mughalpur Baba. And that evening, it was a hot day. Mughalpur Baba was having giving them a such he was talking about Mahabharata. 
normal talking where there is nothing at all, suddenly he burst into a loud laughter. Just at that time, behind him there was a small bench where water was kept for him to drink. And behind him there was a stout shisha. He was so far uh, waving that uh, a hand, a, a hand fat for him. Like that. Suddenly at that time he laughed. He dropped it down below. She had kept a very big iron rod. She took it straight like that and he wanted to break the head of the sword. But when he took it like that, his hand became paralyzed and stood like that. He couldn't bring it down. He could move it. His hand was like that. So, all the people, they went and got hold of him and Pagale, Pagal, take that iron rod and love you. Then don't beat him, allow him. That's all. And give him some prasad. They gave him some prasad. They all met him. The next day morning, Akhanda and Jimara met his room. Swamiji, suddenly you laughed. Is it because you knew that fellow is going to uh, take that rod and hit you? And did you put some spell on him so that his hands would not come down? Fool. For a real is the soul, there is only one. It is only uh, one Shivaji Ganeshan acting as Rama and Ravana. I was he. So, why should I bother about it? Well, I didn't. But, according to the will of the Lord, my body was to remain for some more time. So, all the various devatas of Siddhis, they are all standing around me to find an opportunity to serve me. Wow. Because I told them, don't come to me. So, Siddhis cannot come to me, but they are all waiting. And, Whenever there is an opportunity, they use it. They knew my time has not come. So they did something and made him uh, get paralyzed. I have nothing to do, I am innocent. What? That's you do also. Eh? That's what even you do. Uh, <laughs> and then you say, I don't know anything. Ah, <laughs> I am innocent. <laughs> I plead not guilty. See, the point is, he told also in a correct way. When I tell, I tell it correctly and sincerely. Why should I lie? That's yes, Swamiji. So, Who is this Mukul Baba Swamiji? He was a great saint of the